Something new on New Haven Roads, an ice melting product that uses a popular vegetable to get the job done. Well, the vegetable is probably not too popular with your kids, but it's the juice that's apparently effective and environmentally friendly. Storm 2 mate meteorologist Sam Cantro explains how it works. Salt and sand are two of the ingredients that Public Works and DOT crews around Connecticut use to make it a lot easier to drive on the road when a snowstorm comes to Connecticut. But one ingredient is being added to that salt in New Haven, and that ingredient might surprise you. It's beet juice. Crews in New Haven are gearing up for the next winter storm on the way. From fixing plows to getting vehicles prepared, New Haven is stepping up their efforts to make sure you get to and from your destination a little safer on Wednesday. The last two winters have been a little bit difficult for New Haven Public Works. Through our research, we found this beet juice, an additive that we can put in with our granular salt or mix it with our brine that lowers the temperatures that the would actually work in melting to uh, minus 15 degrees. What you might not know about the salt used on the roads is that the colder the temperature, the less it works. Adding the sugary liquid to the salt helps increase the ability for the salt to work in cold temperatures, so a lot less needs to be used. It also adds an important stickiness to the mixture. One of the concerns, if we put down the granular salt, the material ends up on the side of the road. So having some moisture built in with it, will, it will adhere to the pavement a little bit uh, longer. And don't worry, the beach use will not stain you or your car when it's put onto the road. So in the end, it's really a win-win situation for Public Works here in New Haven. This 5,000-gallon tank makes it more productive for the salt, and it's also better for the environment as well. And it saves the town some money. I'm meteorologist Sam Cantro, News 8.